Right, folks. I'm sat in my hotel, the Rock House Hotels, at Lymouth, looking out my window before going to have my breakfast. I've got another night here. Slept like a log. Had a really, really brilliant walk yesterday. Very, very long walk. Um, I got back around about eight o'clock. I left at nine in the morning. It was an 11-hour 11, 11 walk. So, and then I got fish and chips on the seafront with all the seagulls around me. I thought some of them looked like they'd come, followed me from Weston. They looked like it. Captain Seagull, he did. He got one over here anyway. But uh, I've been very blessed with the weather. Very blessed. It worked. It's worked out really well for me. I'm having. I'm going down to have a full English breakfast in a minute. The whole works. Fruit juice, yo fruit yogurt, bacon, egg, the lot, sausage. And then I'm going out. I'm doing bits and pieces today. Um, I'm going to go up on the special train that like a lift train that takes you up to the top of the hill. Um, at some point today I'm doing that. I've got to go to the bank, get some money out. Um, I'm going to go up the Coombe where most of the disaster happened in 1952. You have to pay to go up that Coombe. It's £10. But I'm um, going up there a bit and then I'm just going to see. I mean, I've done a big walk. I ached quite a bit. Um, when I first went to bed and when I first got up, but it seems to be easing now with a bit of deep heat cream rubbed in. Um, that's the sea front, the promenade out there. I walked along there yesterday to pick up the trail to climb right up on that hill. I was right up there. Went right up there, right round it, to the other side on the coastal path followed the coastal path up and down, round and round through lovely ancient forests till I came to the county gate eventually um, I passed the ladies, um, not ladies fountain sisters fountain which was great to see it's like a pilgrimage spot with a great big cross where Joseph of Arimathea was supposed to have stopped for water. Um, climbed up then to County Gate, used the facilities there, and then made my way back down through, not far from the Dune Valley, following the River Lynn, all the way past the village of Brendan, Watermeet, other little villages scattered about and back to Lynmouth Harbour you, through the valley was absolutely in the Coombs but gorgeous you know um, just look out there look somebody fishing rib boat there it's the harbour great views here Great views over there, the house on the hotel on the hill. So it really is beautiful. And today, like I said, I'm doing bits and pieces today. Gonna go and have my breakfast in a minute. And that's it, my lovely hotel room. There's my rucksack ready. Being used as a day pack. Um Lovely comfortable bed. Beautiful comfortable bed. I've slept like a log both nights so far. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I climbed that. Yeah, I went right round the edge of it. Great experience. Great, and I've got it all on video. There's not going to be many times when I'll be doing something like that, I don't think. I say that, I might, I might come back and do it again. I might do it in a different way. I might do it in reverse, but the reverse route, I think, would be worse. Um, 
going up the Lynn Coombe Valley way I think would be harder it's a lot of uphill at least it was all nearly all downhill for me on the way back the strenuous bit was going up it's harder going that way I think although there are two massive hills for anyone walking the other way so this is Sheila I think it's the 22nd of July 2020 about half eight in the morning and I'm going down to have my breakfast and I'll be taking a lot more photos and videos today tomorrow I'm getting a taxi to Porlock because it's too far for me to hike from here I've seen people struggling with their backpacks really really struggling with all their gear no, I'm getting a taxi to Porlock and then I've got a massive hike up Helston Coombe um, and I'm going to have a lot more stuff to carry. That's going to be my great big burden tomorrow getting up there. Then I'm going to gently follow the rugged route to Minehead. I'm looking forward to it. Over and out. <laughs>